Welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a rundown on everything that I purchased for my DIY cold plunge. Everybody has seen this. This is my cold plunge. This is a 2x2x4 two by two by trough, galvanized trough. I got it from Home Depot for about 150 bucks. I will put in a screen grab of it. And what it cost me was $149 and some change delivered. Sorry about the side view on this, but this is the pump that I got from Amazon. I believe it was about $40 bucks to... I used that to circulate the water. I used it to circulate the water before I got my water chiller because I got film on the water when it was stagnant and it bothered me. Attached to that is a splitter. I use the splitter now to recirculate water and to pump the red hose, pumps the water from the hose or from the tub into the water chiller. So here we are right there, I'm going to back up. Okay, so the red hose goes outside the tub right here, just my finger. So outside the tub, drains, goes into the pump. I split it, one to go into the chiller, one to recirculate into the tub itself, and then the water from the tub becomes cooled, goes out the blue, and recirculates there. So I'm gonna show a quick video of that. So as a reminder, tub, the weight of the water, pushes the water out into my pump. My pump is split, water to get cooled, water to recirculate, water blew out, is the chilled water that goes into the tub. I got these. These are called bulk heads. I drilled into the tub so I can have better recirculation. I probably could have done it a little bit lower, but I'm happy with it because when I am in it, the water recirculates very well. I am also using a timer. I was leaving this on for about 12 hours a day when I got the ch chiller brand new. Turning it off for the 12 hours, got the water too hot, so I'm gonna try and leave it on 24 seven. So this I'm not using as much anymore. Um, Good to have if you can set up yours on a timer or you're just using it to recirculate water every few hours. Not really necessary, but I got it off of Amazon and I will provide a picture. Last piece of equipment I purchased and have installed was my water chiller. It's set to 53 degrees right now. It has a five degree variance. I don't want to go over 58 degrees, so when it goes to 53, it will shut down and the pump will still circulate the water through it, but it will kick back on when the water gets to 57 or 58 degrees because it has a little bit of a tolerance that it allows it to go up and work down. So right now, it's set to 53. The chiller is not technically on, we are just recirculating through it. So once it gets to 58, it will kick back on and cool it back down. I don't know if I like having the chiller on 100% of the time. It does cost a lot of money. One of the last things I use is a small little insulation to try to keep some of the heat in, or the heat out or cool in, it is just a insulated top. 
I am sure after a while I will get the sides insulated and do a little bit better job at keeping it insulated. But those are the things that happen. You figure things out on it when you do a DIY. And then the nice thing about this water chiller is that all the components worked with a garden hose. They gave me a ton of other stuff that I could work through. I can condense this down, size this up, size this down. It has its own pump in here. Luckily I had my own, but everything sized to the three quarter inch hoses. So I was lucky with that and I didn't have to do any modifications or stress work to do what I wanted. Thanks again, guys. Have a Assuming all of my math is correctly, there is correct. In Utah, where I live, my kilowatt hour is six cents. That is 600 watts. That runs all day. If it ran all day in the cooling mode, I think it would use all 600 watts, and that would cost about 86 cents a day. If I did my math correct, I might be off to whatever if I was thinking. Keeping that plugged in and running all day would probably run you closer to 25 to 30 bucks a day. I'm going to assume, or not a day, I'm sorry, 25 to 30 bucks a month. If you're buying a bunch of ice and you're buying, you know, three bags of ice a day at $6, you're going to come way ahead. I've enjoyed uh, not having to run to the store and get ice. I can come down in the mornings, drop it. And get in there and get over with the day um, but getting one of those you are going to add some costs but it's worth it for the convenience it's worth it for all of that so just kind of keep that in mind it's not a, a cheap appliance to run I'm going to assume it's going to add about 20 to 30 dollars to my uh, utility bill so I'll put up some of the numbers that I have kind of calculated, see how far off I am. Anybody that's a math whiz will probably know I've done it wrong, but this is what I've come up in my conclusions. I'm happy with it, and you should get one uh, if it's right for you.